632 now and today early in person voting kicks off in North Carolina. This comes exactly three weeks after Hurricane Helene devastated parts of the key battleground state and Annie has been following this situation closely and Annie joins us now in studio. Helene could potentially have major impacts though on this year's election. Oh yes, the impact is certainly being felt further south. Helene is impacting how things are happening. Election officials have been scrambling to ensure that every voter in North Carolina is able to cast a ballot in this crucial election. Right now, the State Board of Elections website, it has updates about polling places that have been relocated, how constituents can vote if they lost their ID in the storm, and how displaced voters can request new absentee ballots. Just a slew of issues, and I was just curious which areas specifically were impacted most by Helene. And if you take a look here, this is a map that FEMA shared showing the designated disaster areas following the storm, which you can see includes 25 western counties. Now within those 25 disaster counties, there are more than 1.2 million registered voters. And according to election data, that's about a fifth of registered voters in the entire state. If you break that disaster number down by party, there are more than 294,000 Democrats impacted and more than 482,000 Republicans. As of this morning, around 55,000 absentee ballots were sent out and about 9,000 have been returned so far. That's as of this morning. At this point, state officials are still working to secure everything from generators to portable restrooms to open up as many polling locations as possible on Election Day, which of course is just now, uh, what, two, two and a half weeks away, Wisdom right. and Allison? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Could be, make it tough. Right. I mean, it's going to be very, sure. very right. tough. Yeah. Hopefully they didn't get on top of it and everybody does get counted. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Eddie.